so for the teaser at the end of episode one, I kind of lost the sound clip for it, but I have a super HD awesome mic, so I'm just going to redo that part. Just thought I'd let you guys know before I start this. So, where do we start? Limited items first came out sometime in 2009, which, if you don't know what a limited item is, basically there's only a specific number of them in the entire game. You can sell them to other players and either profit or lose money from the item, depending on how well you knew simple economics. Anyway, being a 2007 player, I already had a few limited items myself from the 2007 Christmas gifts. And by a few, I mean I only had one. It was the ugly bucket. I thought it was really awesome because I had my first limited item. That's so cool. I'm going to get in the trading, I'm going to make so much Robux off of this. I'm going to finally be rich. After playing the game for two years, finally my moment was here. It was scammed for me. The guy apparently said he'd get back to me tomorrow. He told me his mom was kicking him off the computer for the night. Never heard back from him. I was shot down. I was angry. It was the most basic scam you could do on Roblox at the time. There wasn't much to it. You tell one person you give your limited item for theirs, but there's no trade system of some sort. No automated thing. Roblox never implemented anything like that. So you need someone to go first, right? You want me to go first? How can I trust you? What if you scam me? Oh, you've done many trades before. Fine, I'll go first. So you go first. You put an item for a cheap price, and then they buy it really fast before anyone else gets it. So then, they're supposed to put their item up next for cheap too. That's what a successful trade looked like back then. But more often than not, people weren't very trustworthy and just took your item and ran. So Roblox made a whole form dedicated to selling and profiting off your limited items with your fellow peers. It's called Let's Make a Deal. But here's the catch. You can't trade anything. Instead, we were told not to trade and that anything that was scammed is not their problem. That didn't stop us. I had nothing. I already lost my first item and my chance of becoming rich. Or so I thought. Now, I was never much of a builder or a scripter, but I had a lot of creative ideas for places and would make tons of places out of pure boredom. And a particular late night, I noticed something. Why do I have a lot of tickets? I have a fresh page. Thousands of more tickets. Thousands. I look in games, I'm on the front page, and literally become rich overnight. I accumulated a bit of money over this time period and just saved it, waiting for the right moment, the right item, to make the right decision. My 15 minutes lasted, well, about 15 minutes. I never became famous from that place. I got just enough money to get back into the trading game again, but not enough to consider myself massively rich. During the midst of all this, I go to a place one day and talk to this guy who made it. I really like his place. The guy is really cool and we get along pretty well. He had interesting things to add to the conversation and he seemed like an overall decent and genuine person. I like his place and his personality so much, I ended up giving him 15,000 tickets that day. Just because I wanted to inspire him to make more awesome places. 15,000 tickets meant I used up 15,000 times people have played my place. Which, in 2009, was quite a sum of money. This guy's name is Amra. Or Tyler. And this was the start of a beautiful friendship. One night, I'm playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and I get back to my computer and I see this super cool hat for 13,337 Robux, and only 26 people could own it. I missed out on it for a couple of games on Modern Warfare 2. I was pretty mad. I vowed to get that hat one day. One day. Up from 2009 to late 2010, I'd made quite a few places that had given me a pretty decent cash flow. At the time, I was popular for making the break into the bank games. I saved and I saved, buying just a few limited items, like Void Star and Bridge and Sword. Oh, and did I mention I bought another ugly bucket? I had to get that back for sure. Nothing too special happens until one night. I saw it right there. Sold out right in front of me. The Dominus Infernus. It sold for 26,000 Robux and there was no way I had that kind of money. Only super rich people had that hat. But I remember telling Tyler that night, I'm going to get a Dominus Infernus and all I had was 2,000 Robux. I was determined. Over the years of playing Roblox, Greg never really played as much as I did. We talked on messengers all day, but he quit Roblox in 2008. The night the Infernus came out, I messaged him and I asked him if I could have his account, because he had all of the 2007 Christmas gifts. 
and those were pretty valuable at the time. He let me have it because he didn't care, and all of a sudden I had a whole new doorway in the world of trading. Keep in mind, I also had some old 2007 accounts as well, which people valued because they're old. So I look at the owners of the Dominus and Furnace, and I'm trying to message him because I want this hat. You know, I, I have to get it. So I see a guy named McPonage. I told him I'll give him Darky Dog 2, 2,000 Robux, and a couple of other 2007 accounts of mine. So I didn't expect to get anywhere with this. Trading was still so new to me. This was my first real trade. There's no way I'd pull this off. It's insane. Holy crap. He agreed. But wait, I've been scammed before. How, how can I trust this guy? To be honest, I didn't trust him. But I went for it. I gave him Darky Dog 2 and the other accounts, and he set the Infernus for 2,000 Robux. I snagged that so quickly. So now I'm the owner of a Dominus Infernus, a few hours after it sold out, with nothing but some connections and a couple thousand Robux. Now, I'm definitely on my way to being king. Oh, you're an idiot, Darky Dog. That hat isn't worth anything. You're not going to get anything from that hat. I had to prove everyone wrong. 